So um, I want to thank the dancers for being here and blessing us with that prayer that they carry when they dance. And um, for the rest of you guys as well, um, with that last song, every every step that you took, good energy and a good prayer for us. So thank you very much. I'm not sure how much time we got left here. Um, We'll, we'll just keep singing up here all day <laughs> till we get kicked off. Okay. So you see some of these uh, guys, they got eagle feathers in the tops of their, their headdress here. These eagle feathers for us are very, very sacred. Um, to us, the eagle is the messenger of the Creator. He carries our prayers on his wings and on his tail. He's, he's the highest flyer. He flies the uh, highest. He sees the farthest. So um, we don't just wear these uh, eagle feathers as ornaments. To us, they are... Uh, Another way for us to, to directly make contact with the Creator through His messenger, the eagle. Um, other, other religions, um, if, if you understood how we felt about these feathers, it would be the equivalent of a Christian having the feather of an angel. Um, these eagle feathers to us are just as sacred. We don't let them touch the floor. Um, if they do touch the floor when uh, our dancers are dancing, we stop the whole powwow or the whole ceremony and have a ceremony just to pick that feather up. When that feather hits the, the ground, it's um, the equivalent of a warrior falling in battle. And we treat it with that regard. They're highly sacred to us. So um, when you see the eagle feather, represented in um, different pictures and cultures of uh, native tribes throughout North America. Um, it, it helps to understand how highly regarded and how sacred these feathers really are to us. So if you're uh, ever out around uh, native people in a native country, it's uh, really respectful not to touch their regalia because most of us, a lot of us, we feel this way about our feathers, especially our eagle feathers. So, um, that's just a, a little bit of etiquette. Sounds like we're going to do about three more songs. Uh, we'll do a, um, what's next is called a crow hop. Um, if you've ever seen a crow hopping around out there in the parking lot, uh, um, you'll see where this dance gets its name from. Right on. And the, dan the dancers are going to keep dancing down there. They, they don't feel crowded up here. So this next song is going to be called uh, A Crow Hop. <laughs> 